Hi guys, I'm starting my vlog a little later in the day today because I slept in. I'm like trying to sleep as much as possible before I go back to school because I just know I'm gonna need it. But um, even though I woke up late, I think I'm going to do my workout that I plan to do this morning and eat some food. So that's why I'm in workout clothes. Also, we got our family adopted a new kitten. So I wanted to show you guys him. And that's why I am in this room because this is like his little playroom. We don't have a name for him yet, but we recently washed Outer Banks and we want to name him Jay and then call him JJ as a nickname, but we're not sure yet. But we're gonna go put him in my sister's room again. The lighting is so yellow here. I don't know if I love it or hate it. I don't think it's that bad. Something I realized the past like couple of months is that I never really get hungry right when I wake up in the morning. But I, it was a habit for me to eat as soon as I wake up because I like food. I like breakfast especially, and I just kind of go for it as soon as I wake up. But I've learned to take my time and actually just go on with my day until I'm actually hungry so I can really enjoy the food. Yeah, there's no need for me to just stuff down food when I'm not hungry, you know? So I usually like stretch in the morning, which I've been loving. Just light stretches or light workouts like I did today. I also like taking time in the morning to make food. Since I have the time right now, I used to always just make like overnight oats or eat like a toast something that's really easy that takes like five minutes to make but now I like take time and like make food so that while I'm making food I get hungry and I enjoy the meal more so yeah that's my little morning routine kind of today I woke up late and it's already 12 so it's lunch time and my mom made us kimbap so I'm just gonna eat that and I don't know if I want ramen to go with it yep we're going for it I came into a whole different bathroom just to shower because my room and my sister's room is connected by a bathroom but my sister is taking a um, work call right now in our room when I can't like talk in the bathroom or like even shower because I feel like that would be too loud for her but I needed to talk today in the bathroom because I brought new shampoo and conditioner and I was really excited to try them out and I wanted to do like a first impression. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I got from Shea Moisture. Um, I've been having a hard time managing my hair because I've been losing a lot of hair and also they've just not been very healthy. It's either from like stress or like lack of nutrients because I haven't had a lot of appetite these days. So I'm trying to take care of it more as well as eating well and resting well. I researched and apparently this one's really good. It had really good reviews too. So I am really excited. I'm gonna try it and I will let you know when I get out of the shower. But lately all I got is free time. You on my mind. I know I'm supposed to leave you behind. But in case you miss me. I am back for the shampoo review because I told you guys that I would do one and this is not a review, it's a first impression because using it once obviously doesn't really tell you everything about the shampoo and conditioner. But first thing I noticed is that it has a very strong shea butter scent, like the shampoo smell is very strong so it leaves a scent on your hair for a bit but I think it goes away after a while and the thing about shea butter is that I personally think that it mixes well with other scents. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem, but that's what I noticed. And 
Other than that, I mean, it made my hair soft in the shower. Like when you wash it out, you know how you can like feel your hair. It made my hair feel like plump. Yeah, I think I do like the shampoo. I will just have to keep using it to see if it helps with my hair and the stress I'm going through right now with hair. That was my shampoo first impressions, but the main reason I wanted to vlog today is because I was more excited about my first credit card I got yesterday. Obviously, this is not a credit card review either. This is just me sharing. I am 19 years old, turning 20 in a month and a half, which is crazy. I think a lot of my viewers are in the same stage of life as me. So like teen going into adulthood, I definitely want to share the steps I'm taking to prepare myself for adulthood. As cringy as that sounds, it's something that we all go through and not everyone has a counselor that leads you through step by step on how to get yourself ready and me getting the credit card was a big step for me and i wish i would have done it sooner which is also the reason why i am talking about it in a vlog for those of you who are younger and who are 18 or younger watching this remember to get one as soon as you turn 18 because that's one regret that i have i've been hearing things like get your first credit card as soon as you turn 18 if you can because it will help you build build credit so that when you want to get a car or a house later you will have good credits personally for me i also have goals to want to take advantage of credit card hacks and bonuses i mean everyone gets it in their own time everyone has their own pace but for me i feel like i am late which I'm pretty sure it's not, but I wish I would have done it sooner. But at least I got it now, so good for me. And I don't know a lot about personal finance and all of that. I wish I watched those like finance videos for fun. But the truth is I only watch those when I have questions and need an answer. I think it's helpful for everyone to be subscribed to one or two channels that tell you or teaches you stuff like this. So everything I know is literally from YouTube, YouTube videos, Graham Stephan. I also like Brian Jung and Humphrey Yang. Yes, those are three of my go-tos. This is a sign for you to do your research and get your first credit card if you haven't. You guys don't know what to do anymore with my day. I needed a little pick-me-up and a matcha latte sounds so good right now, but we ran out of matcha powder, so I could go get some from a cafe, but I'm too lazy, so I just Cut up some peaches from Georgia. And I'm just gonna eat this as a little snack. And I am about to study. You might be wondering, what are you studying? Because I'm not currently in school right now. I have been studying to become a certified personal trainer. Obviously having the certification will open up like new career choices and options, even if I wanna do it as like a side hustle later on, but I personally wanted to do it because I've always been a lover of workouts and exercise and physical activity, staying active in general, and also health. I kind of wanted to take my hobby to a next level and like level my knowledge up. And instead of just watching YouTube videos and expanding my knowledge that way, if I was going to do that anyways, I was like, why not just make it more official and go a little farther? and get a certification so that is what i've been doing i'm almost done with it which i am very excited about because i have been doing this for half a year now it's difficult because you deal with a lot of anatomy and physiology but i think it's nice for me to get into my study habits again and actually study things that i have personal interest in so i'll be doing this for 
an hour or two. I'm a little sleepy, so we'll see how this goes. This peach is so good. I can see it on your face, it was rough. Left a bad taste on your tongue. And she didn't even take any drugs. She would rain all day, couldn't wait for her sun to shine. Got frozen yogurt. This one's coffee and all sorts of chocolate. This one's strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> sister was working out so I worked out a little bit with her and now I'm on the couch watching some of the Olympics highlights which I haven't really been keeping up with the Olympics but I do like watching gymnastics highlights so this is what I'll be doing I'll probably study some more because I didn't get much done because I ended up taking a nap so yeah I'm drinking some lemon tea. I'm gonna incorporate it into my night routine. Hopefully it will make me calm down and um, help me sleep earlier than 3, 4, 5 a.m. Ah, I've been studying some last minute things, but I think I'm going to come to an end for today. I need to wash my face and maybe read a book I haven't read in a bit so i think i'm gonna read thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time next vlog bye i bought this hair tie when i was like nine it's 10 years old that's crazy anyways bye <laughs>